The sixth eruption of the Swartzengi volcanic system in the Reykjanes Peninsula of Iceland started vigorously with this uh, eruption and it created huge fountains up to 175 meters tall in the night you could see them from far distance at the moment it seems that it has reached equilibrium slightly decreased but yet keeping pace only in two spots two vents is erupting the amount of the magma available for this is finite is limited is around 22 million cubic meters of the magma so it has to finish soon and the source of the magma is at a depth of the 6 to 7 kilometers and a deeper source at a depth of 8 to 5, 15 kilometers practically. We are seeing evidence for the rising of the new material, new magma in the forms of these tremors from that depth in the model, depth model of the eruption. From two consecutive days, we can see that something is rising. This could be magma. We are seeing in three stations of the Eldwarp, um, Swartzengi, and the Skipatsik Heron, evidence for the GPS data showing that uh, the land rise due to the magma arriving and accumulating in the Swartzengi, that is a medium depth uh, a reservoir is increasing practically. We are seeing evidence that the land uplift has started again. This is a new cycle practically charging the magma reservoir, creating the uh, you know uplift of the land until the pressure is enough to erupt. But the thing is that in the past six eruptions, we have seen every time the eruption next eruption was taking longer to actually happen. This time we had around uh, uh, 85 days. Previous one was 70. And it's quite possible the next one will be around 90 to 100 days. That makes it roughly in November, November 2024. And this is quite possible that we have to wait another three months practically for the next eruption. This is mainly due to the um, non-Newtonian fluid nature of the magma it needs lots of shaking the magma there which is semi-solid at the depth is not able to actually to let the previous magma to pass and it needs a lot of earthquakes and shake that it gets fluid like a ketchup so it can rise and when it rises it can come through the cracks we call these kind of cracks dikes these are these are cracks or fissures in the ground and through that the eruption happens so we have to wait. The uh, new phase of the new cycle of the magma accumulation has started already.